Hi there, welcome back. So I'm here again at Vista Heritage. Uh, this time it's not a scramble, but it's a collecting cars uh, coffee run event. Very different vibe on these events compared to a scramble. Kind of anything goes, I guess you see a few more uh, modern supercars and things like that than you do classics, but there's still good few classics uh, to, to see. Uh, so let's have a look around. This wouldn't be a, a bad two car garage, would it? A Lotus Evora and a Mercedes R107 SL. One of them, you know, a nice sedate classic for wafting around. <coughs> and the other one, up to date sports car. Nice colour choice as well, Lotus being the most colourful, or having the most colourful cars out there, according to my investigations. I've seen, done another video on that you might want to watch. Just tucked away in here, a McLaren 675LT. I think he's been one of the first kind of, first of the long tails that uh, McLaren did. So they took the 650 and kind of beefed it up a bit. Extended the rear a little, I guess, with his tail on it. Hence the name, long tail. Sitting next to Aston Martin Vantage. So they've just come out with a new version of these, haven't they? The new variant, but uh, I don't know, the old one looks pretty good to me. And this one's in, in the Aston Martin Racing Green. Now these Lotus Elan um, M100s, not, uh, not universally liked. Um, front wheel drive, for example, so considered not to be in the sort of Lotus guys. But cheap as chips at the moment. A few thousand pounds, up to about five for a decent one. Worth, uh, worth thinking about anyway. So the event started an hour ago, so it's about 10 o'clock now. Still things coming in. Um, this is just one of the entrances. Uh, I think the other one is probably more, even busier. But uh, just like you see, look, everything from modern Defenders, Porsches, just your average daily car, Jaguars. Um, not sure, <laughs> kind of a beaver tail pickup, maybe they'll come to get something. A bit of a supercar paddock here, we've got McLaren's, got Lotus Exige, um, Ferraris, Honda and SX, Bentleys, Audi R8s, and Aston Martins. And you've got the Aerial Atom Club. Very brave guys, most of these, because it just seems to be completely open. It's a great day for it though, I suppose. It's still cold though, I imagine, at uh, 70 odd miles an hour. Little trio here of uh, people's kind of favourite cars. Um, so it's BMW 507, uh, Aston Martin uh, V8 Vantage, Volante, and a Mercedes SL, a Pagoda, Pagoda era SL. So which would be your choice? I think you know which one will be mine. So what a great looking car. I have to, I kind of have to feature these almost every video I do. This one's the Vantage, so you've got this sort of blanked off uh, grill, in fact it's no grill, and this big lump on the top with, again, with no openings and no vents. So this bit here between the hangers, I don't know, to some extent it seems to be really notable cars, really interesting cars. And then again, it makes you think, actually is it just somebody that knows somebody? Um, so you've got a few nice cars and a few kind of unusual cars. Um, but, you know, compared to some of the other stuff that's tucked away in the car park, these are sort of just everyday kind of things. Um, dare I say it, there's a Lotus Esprit. You know, what's special about this Esprit? It's not a turbo. It's just a standard, normally aspirated Esprit. It's the high compression version, so it's sort of a few years later than mine. Um, but fundamentally, it's just an Esprit. So I'm not entirely sure what gets you into this bit, unless it's something to do with what you know, who you know. Despite the uninspiring colour, this is a 458 Speciale. So these cars are probably, if you had to buy any Ferrari of the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, you'd want to go for something like this because it's the last of the normally aspirated cars, I think. Um, the 488 kind of changed things up a little bit and they obviously did the Pista. But the 458 Speciale um, is, is possibly the one to have. So we saw the 675 LT earlier on. 
This is the 765 LT. So it's the latest sort of version of that, uh, or variant of that kind of thing, where we've taken the standard car and made a bit more of it. I like the upturned, uh, oh, the upturned exhaust. It's a very nice Aston Martin. It's the DB4, one of the last of the DB4s, judging by the fed in front headlamps. Um, almost as same as a five, I guess, at this point. Nice also to see it in a colour other than silver birch because it's a bit of a kind of cliche silver birch. You've got this nice dark British racing green colour. So I guess the idea is this is a, you know, called a coffee run because it's where people go for coffee. Now I think the first of these that I came to, they had maybe one or two coffee trucks. Realised very quickly that it just wasn't enough. And we've got what, probably about six or seven outlets here. There's another one in the hangar, all selling coffee. And every one of them by now, and what are we now? We're about just gone 10 o'clock, has a massive queue. So, although they say you can turn up whenever you want for a coffee run, I think it goes on until about two in the afternoon. If you want to get coffee quickly, come early. Even got some pretty random things around. Like these, uh, I don't know, what, tent, roof tents. Can you imagine, uh, imagine the Esprit with one of these on? Maybe. <laughs> Interesting idea, wouldn't it? Got to get it far enough away from home to worth, be worth having a tent on the top. So here's Porsche Club of Great Britain and a field full of Porsches. All kinds of Porsches, 911s, Caymans, Boxsters, 928s probably, 944s, 924s, just about every Porsche you could imagine. This is the other entrance, still streaming in. There's a good 20 cars back there. Kind of annoying, you have to go, if you come in this way, you have to go all the way up there before we can then turn back round and come in. Um, that's off the Skimming Dish Lane Junction. The other one, which is over that side, is off the Buckingham Road, usually less of a queue that way, but uh, it's not always in use for different events, that one. Which is the eclectic nature of all these cars, uh, even some interesting cars like these, uh, these two Delta Integrales have uh, been pushed up onto the grass main car park. I'm guessing all this bit up here is full, or pretty full. Jensen Interceptor convertible in a very, very 70s brown colour. Do you know what? I can't even be bothered to go all the way up there. There are so many cars here. I don't know how many they're expecting. Was it 3,000 or 8,000? Something like that. It's just an amazing amount of cars. It's probably worth checking the car park, usually is, but <laughs> that's a long way that way, isn't it? You think of this then? No, not the car. The chopper. Rally chopper. Wow. When I was a kid, that is the bike everybody wanted. But an awful lot of parents would say, yeah, but it's not practical, is it? It's not, you know, get yourself a nice sturdy bike, what's this for? But yeah, the cool kids have one of those. So if and when I could ever have a Lotus Emira, I think it's pretty much would be the spec. It's a lovely blue. So people are leaving already. Still not quite half past 10 people are leaving. I think what happens is, particularly for the kind of London crowd, they come up from London, they stop here, they have their coffee and then they carry on to Caffeine and Machine, which is uh, probably another hour from here. Happy to say that the sun is out now, it's getting a, getting warmer. It's never going to be that warm because you're right at the edge of an airfield, so you've always got that breeze blowing across. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is a little bit of a tour, a little bit of a feel of the difference here of a, um, a coffee run by collected cars compared to a scramble. Much smaller event in terms of um, you know how much is open, what you can see but uh, probably a bigger mix of cars and, and lots of different cars as well, particularly the ones that sort of come up from London area for this kind of event. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all the other good things, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.